What's up? What's up? What's up? This is your boy, <laughs> Forever Brandon TV, coming back to you guys with another video on my girl, Dawn Richard. Guys, her new album, Redemption Heart, also known as Redemption, is out. Yes, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it online. It's going to be on Spotify. It's going to be on Amazon. You know, you probably can pre-order it. On, I mean, you probably can just order it on her website. Guys, please, 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 please support Don Rashad. This is the trilogy. This is the end of the trilogy part of the heart. Okay, this is the Red Era. Finally, guys, it the uh, I originally I was hearing that this album was supposed to come out the, at the beginning of the year, but she I guess she pushed it back and wanted to work on it a little bit more. And it's here. If you guys remember Black Heart, which is still one of my favorite eras and albums. We have Redemption Heart, which is like the freedom era of Don Rashar and the evolution of her career and, you know, what she's witnessed. And I really, really love this album. For when I get this album a 10 out of 10, Don Rashar always comes with their full force and energy, their dance. This is Electro. What I love about each of the hearts, the Golden Heart has more of a... Uh, a semi-electro feel, but it has more of a, um, a, a, a psychedelic, uh, and not really just psychedelic, it just has just, just a more of a, oh man, Golden Heart was amazing, I loved it. Black Heart brought their darkness, you know, the, the, the edgier, dark side of Don Rashard. This brings the free, happy side of Don Rashard and being freedom, uh, being free and, you know, to uh, create, be creative. I just love it. I really, really love it. Uh, from 1 to 15, guys, we are going to get into this review. All right. And then we got... The intro, Redemption, okay? It just sounds like Redemption, y'all. When you listen to it, it's just the opening of the album. It's amazing. Uh, I really liked the sound of how it came on. I just thought it was really different. You know, I love the fact that none of Don Rashard's stuff sound the same, okay? I really like that. She really took a different approach in making the music for this album. You can tell she really, really took her time and, and created a perfect craft project. I love it, okay, the, that was the first one, the second, the actual first song of the album is Love Under Lights, okay, this was just the opening dance tune that just really, really makes you want to move, it kind of had a little, uh, a little African beat, sort of, but it, it had that dance electro pop, you know, that, 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 that she always likes to bring, you know, she's a dancer, you know, she just brought that, that full force with the dancer on this album, I really, really like it. Okay, that's number two. Number three, Black Crimes, okay? It just sounds like war, okay? I really, really like it. It just really has a war feel to it, you know? Um, it just talks about crimes, the many different crimes, you know, uh, I, I believe of, you know, anything. Uh, and I really, really like it. I just really, really liked it. The sound, I thought it was dope. Uh, then we got Voices, okay? Which is probably one of my favorites, okay? It's basically like, you know, you're hearing voices, basically. And I really, really like it. I just thought that it was just a cold beat. L.A. Now, this song, this is number five of the album. Now, this song right here. Let me tell you something. It just talks about uh, the killings in L.A. And uh, what L.A. is known for. And it also has a guitar solo that I really, really like on this song. Like, it's just, it's dope. I really, really like it. I, have, I gotta give her her props. Gotta give her her, prop, her props. Interim is the interlude that she's just, you know, sounding. You know how she does those weird voices. It's typical Don Richard with that. I love it. Renegades. This song is just a runway. This is just a song that I feel like the LGBT will really, really like. You know, this is just one of those voguing type songs you know it's just a, a walk the runway it's just, it's just very Tyra Banks uh, I really really like it it's just, it's just one of those dun, 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 dun. I really really like it it's just you know she's just dancing her life away you can just see a, a kick ass video for this I really like it it's just you can just see Vogue and you can just see just the, the, the death drop you can just see it all with this song so I, I, I really like it I, I gotta give her props Lazarus Okay, now you all know that Lazarus and the story about Lazarus is in the Bible, guys. I really, really like it. I think that this song is just probably the beautifulest song on this album with a nice kick 
beat that's just really, really amazing. She really did her damn thing with that. Tyrants. Okay, this song really took me to another level. It also reminded me of one of the songs on Blackheart. I can't remember the name of it, but guys, it just get, it just it's just amazing. I really, really like the 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 dance feel that she has for each and every one of these songs. Okay, uh, Vines, which is uh, just talking about life. And um, you know, stand, uh, you know, stand on a tight arrow. I really, really like vines. It's just a little interlude featuring PJ Morton. Okay, uh, eleven. Hey, Nikki is basically. Uh, I believe it talks about a stripper. Okay, I want to say it talks about a stripper or, or a street walker or a call girl. Okay, she's basically telling a story about a woman who's giving her life away to lust. Uh, basically. I want to say that's what it's about. I won't necessarily say it was my favorite song on the album, but it's very deep and it has a deep meaning to it. It's, it was kind of slow for me, but it, 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 hey, it is what it is. Sands. The Sands of the Earth. Now, this has a very, very deep meaning to it. I really, really liked it. I thought that it was just really, 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 really just, it's just really, really chill. It was just so chill. I, I When I listened to it, I was like, wow. Very beautiful sound to it. She really did her damn thing. Uh, Lilies, which is a beautiful interlude, talking about watching something grow, uh, talking about watching Lilies grow, basically, uh, 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 you know, I believe she's relating this to humanity, but, you know, it's just, it just has a deep meaning to it, I really want to give her props for that, the Lavray, the Lavray, the Lavray, the Lavray, it's very Paris, you know, I, I think it's a Paris museum it's probably one of the largest museums on earth guys uh it's just this song was very very different okay i really don't know how to describe it uh it just took me to a different level of don richard and where she's going musically but i thought it was a nice little song uh valhalla uh, valhalla is i believe that's also you know bible reference as well talking about getting to the kingdom you know leaving earth and, and going going to the going to the kingdom uh, leading the leading the way to the to the righteous one basically it, it's 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 very spiritual and you know down shot always likes to put her spirituality in with her uh music you know she's a very spiritual person down Richard has really really done amazing with this trilogy i believe that she's going to probably have physical copies i, I don't know if she's going to do like a three disc thing of golden heart black heart and redemption heart but if she she made it to this trilogy part of her career and uh golden heart black heart and redemption heart just really put a different feel of to how she how, how far she has come musically and she is doing she has done an amazing job uh she this album is just phenomenal all these dance tunes like amazing she really did an amazing job if you are diamond sharp fans you will love it check out the album you know uh those beats you will get into it you will get into the formality of the album uh, how she came about coming up with the songs, and, and she just did an amazing job. I cannot wait to own the trilogy, okay? I, 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 she, she, this is what she said she was doing, you know, a couple of years ago, and she finally finished it, so I'm happy for her. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, it's going to be on her website. It's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on iTunes. So just please holla at your boy and tell me what you think about it. And this is your boy Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys. I do videos like this every day. You can hit that subscribe button and, and, and put your comments below. If you like it, if you're here for it, if you ain't here for it, get your life to it. Because she's, she's in it to win it. Uh, yo, 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 yo. I'm out.